Good morning, all my happy little chicks and chickadees. I hope you have had a great night and you are ready to get started today with our calendar time. So here we go. What day is it today? You got it. Today is Tuesday. Let's see our umbrella. There it is. Today is Tuesday. Tuesday starts with what letter? T. And T says what? T says t, t. Remember like the symbol does, right? T says t, t. Good. If today is Tuesday, what day was it yesterday? Monday. Yesterday was Monday. And what day will it be tomorrow? Wednesday hump day, as Miss Farnell says, right? Okay, we're going to sing our Days of the Week song. I want you to get your hands out. You can clap two times or you can snap your fingers two times every time we sing it. Let's go. Days of the Week. 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 There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. And then there's Saturday. Days of the week. 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 Okay, good singing, everybody. Now let's look at our month of April. We are almost halfway through with the month of April, which is pretty crazy. It's going by so fast. So we had a holiday this weekend. We had Easter. And so that's why this day is yellow. Okay. And this was yesterday, the 13th. So this will be today. Let's count our days in the month. Ready? Start at number one. Use your pointer finger and count with me. Here we go. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen. There it is. Okay, our fourteen then is the number of the day. And if we look up in our column up here, we can see our day of the week is Tuesday and our month of the year is April. So today is Tuesday, April the 14th. Okay, good job. All right, let's look at that number of the day. We're gonna draw it in the sky. Today, I want you to take out your green crayon, green like the trees and green like the grass. Start at the top of our one and we're gonna draw a straight line down, okay? Now, this is a fancy four. We don't usually draw our four this way, but today, today we'll do it. It looks like a triangle. Do you see the shape of a triangle right here? It looks fancy, right? So to draw this four, we're going to start with a straight line down. Then we're going to come back up to the top. We're going to do a diagonal line halfway, which is down to the ceiling of the house, and then over across the ceiling, a short line, okay? When we look at this number 14, we have one group of 10 and four ones. So we could say that 14 is 10 and four more. Or we could say it's 10 plus four, or we could say it's 10 and four ones. Lots of ways that we could do that, right? Okay, let's look at our months of the year now. We are still in April and April is the fourth month of the year. Let's count our months. One, two, three, four. April is the fourth month. We're gonna stand up now and sing our song. Everybody get ready to wiggle. All right, let's look at our weather graph now. We're going to go check the window, get out your binoculars, and sing the weather song. Okay. 
Okay, so at my house, I'm looking at the weather and it is sunny. Yay, we finally have some sunshine. That is wonderful news for all the flowers and trees and plants that are growing outside right now because it is spring. I am very glad that we have a sunny day. Maybe that means you can go outside for a long time today and play and have a good time. So now we have three equal amounts. Look at that. Two rainy days, two sunny days, and two partly cloudy days. So that means we have a three-way tie, which is really crazy, right? We've had all kinds of weather this month. How many cloudy days have we had? One, just one cloudy day. So do you think we've had more sunny days or more cloudy days? Yes, we've had more sunny days, and I know that because we have had two sunny days and only one cloudy day. All right, let's look at our animal data graph again today. So you remember we talked about this yesterday. These are all baby animals that are usually born in the spring, and I asked my family what their favorite animals were. So today, I want you to use this graph and answer some questions, okay? Here's your first question. How many people in my family liked caterpillars the best? Now to solve this problem, all you need to do is find the caterpillar column, which is right here. There's the word to help you and there's a picture to help you. Now you can count the number of pictures. I only see one picture. Or you can go to the highest picture, which is this one, and take your finger and go over here to the numeral to see the number. How many people like caterpillars? Just one person liked caterpillars the best. Okay, here's your next question. Did more people like ducklings or caterpillars? Yes, more people liked ducklings than caterpillars. And here's how we know. We can count those pictures. One, two, three people liked ducklings. And we know that three, there's our three over here in the numeral, three is greater than one. So that means that more people liked ducklings than caterpillars. All right, one more question today. Did fewer people like chicks or caterpillars? Did you hear that word I used, fewer? When I use the word fewer, that means I'm looking for the smaller number. Did fewer people like chicks or caterpillars? So there were two people who liked chicks. There's only one person who likes caterpillars. So this would be fewer people. Fewer people like caterpillars than like chicks. All right, it's time for us to wiggle. Today, I want to let you wiggle to the gardener song. Are you ready? Stand up. The gardener plants the seeds. The gardener plants the seeds. High hope is watching through the gardener plants the seeds. The rain begins to fall. The rain begins to fall. Okay, friends, that is it for us today. I want to remind you real quickly, make sure that you are doing two things on your choice board every day and that you're reading for 20 minutes every day. Um, I do have the website up and running. I'm adding things to it about every day. 
and I'm working really hard to get some more videos made for you guys so that you can watch me. Super fun on YouTube. I hope that those are helpful. Parents, if there's anything that you need at all, please give me a ring on Dojo or um, through email. And I'm also sending out more happy mail this week. So maybe you'll get a letter in the mail. Make sure you are checking your mailbox. And if you would like to write me back, I put my address on the envelope. So you can um, write me a letter back, which would be so exciting for me. Um, that's it for today. I will see you back here tomorrow. Have a great day today. Bye.